Hello everyone, welcome to a short film uh, which is our introduction to the work of the Art and Design Department at Hills Road. Uh, an opportunity for you to find out a little bit more about us, to see some examples of students' work uh, and to help you prepare your thoughts for potentially uh, joining us at some time in the future. So we're just going to introduce ourselves first of all. Uh, so my name is Jonathan Sansom and I teach Art and Design here at Hills Road. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Toby Saville and I also teach art and design here as well as a number of the art enrichment courses. So without further ado, we'll take you through uh, an introduction to the department and some imagery uh, to kick off with. So the first thing uh, is an introduction to uh, what we really view as a, a great opportunity here at the college, which is to really expand your ways of working. So if you're interested in working in ceramics or constructed form or big scale painting, um, model making or digital ways of working, um, you can see someone beating a huge sheet of metal to make large scale sculpture, uh, architectural models, um, large scale ceramics work, uh, fashion textile production, mixed media, um, there's really some great opportunities here to work in some ways that perhaps you've not had the chance to do um, before at GCSE, but perhaps are preparing the ground and looking forward to some really uh, uh, good opportunities to expand what you can do uh, when you come to join us. So the A-Level Art and Design course as we run it here at Hills really does enable us uh, to help students maximise their creative potential. So just a few slides here to introduce some work that um, is uh, an example of that diversity that we really, really celebrate here. Um, students' projects are personal, they are meaningful, uh, and they develop through uh, <clears throat> rigorous investigation and artist research. They develop high levels of skill. Uh, and produce work that you know they are very proud of and indeed the staff are too. This first slide uh, indicates some figurative painting. In both cases, they are oil paintings exploring just different ways of thinking about the, the human form and the human body. Second slide, by contrast, uh, students often find that they want to respond to the visual world around them, be it movement, uh, colour, shape and pattern um, through very expressive means. Uh, and here we have some recently produced paintings on a large scale, uh, really expressing the dynamics of movement, shape, colour and pattern. Three dimensions is an area that's very popular. Also, um, students uh, often have a strong interest in architecture, design, fashion, for example. Uh, and they find working in our really well-equipped workshops uh, and ceramic studio uh, absolutely the place to realise the potential of their ideas. Uh, we can see here work in ceramics and wire, we can see work in plastics, and we can see work in sculptural mixed media uh, on a very large scale. Creative potential of digital media is huge and vast and more and more present in, in all our everyday lives. And, um, so, you know, this is reflected in the course, um, uh, be it more work with sort of typographical elements, uh, graphic design, um, but equally work with moving image uh, has been produced to a really high standard in recent weeks and months. This next slide uh, is another example of a student working in a range of media, including moving image, um, and we can see them busily working away on a beach in Norfolk. Uh, transporting cast concrete sculpture uh, to form part of a moving image piece of work, some film exploring tide and time, really exciting stuff. Here we are with two final examples, um, some painting that just balances that wonderful uh, relationship between kind of abstraction pattern and figurative painting. Uh, and that's contrasted by a student that's being able to work sculpturally but in embed those really strong ideas about decay and architecture in a digitally created photographic piece. One of the questions that you're probably uh, asking yourself is, you know, well, why study art and design? Um, if there's a question in your mind regarding that, 
Um, the answer is usually that people want to study it because it's their passion. Um, it's a subject that people choose because they really want to do it. Um, and this is reflected in terms of how people go forward in their careers as well. Often students who are passionate about being creative people uh, go on to uh, contribute to the UK's creative industries. Um, there are plenty of statistics around about this, but uh, you know the key thing to know is that the creative industry sector uh, is really fast growing in the UK. It has for many years been a huge part of the economy um, and uh, there are many really interesting professions within that area that uh, some of our students ultimately will go on to take part in. Um, it's not just for those people who want to go on in that area, but there are a lot of our students who do. Um, Toby will say a little bit more about the, the broader destinations later. Um, but creative futures, you can see from this image here, cover a wide range of routes through um, printmaking or architecture, game design, uh, working in commercial design as a graphic designer, um, or working in many of the kind of arts humanities related uh, areas, uh, or even becoming a teacher. Who knows, you might be that lucky. Um, so many different things that you could uh, aim for if you're interested in working creatively. Our destinations for students are uh, quite diverse, uh, but we have uh, some really great uh, success getting students through with excellent support on their portfolio preparation uh, as a stepping stone from us on into higher education. As well as the A-level curriculum, uh, which we've explored with you so far, um, a real strength of the course is to enrich that experience and getting out to galleries and museums to temporary exhibitions as well as permanent collections regionally, nationally and internationally uh, is you know, a really, really special part uh, of the student experience on the A-level course here. Uh, and we're seeing examples of students really, really absorbing the cultural capital offered by you know, European cities as well as uh, galleries you know, closer to home. Uh, and what we do see is that students that engage in these trips really bring that experience to advance their work back here in the studios. The trips form one part of the way we enrich the learning experience, but also um, within uh, the first year at Hills, every student opts for a creative, uh, for an enrichment course. And the offering in the art department is, as you can see from the list, in the presentation is uh, diverse and really, really exciting. So students are able to arrive in the art department already studying art or photography, but perhaps from other curriculum areas uh, to really, really enjoy uh, working uh, with the art teachers, uh, working in the studios and developing drawing, photography, ceramics, uh, the list goes on. So students are really, really well supported as an art student to extend that learning, but also students are welcome to come and visit us uh, as part of an enrichment course for one hour a week in their first year. Uh, and the good news is that after a term of enrichment, you can opt for a second course in your spring term of the first year. So uh, we're really, really proud of the offer that we have in the art department for that. And it's uh, a really enjoyable part of the week. More examples here um, of the creative structures, making activities, working with ceramics, uh, working with kind of resins uh, and glass as well. So, you know, lots of things, you know, that are fun to take home, gifts, et cetera, and things like that. So it provides a really, really lovely um, kind of break from the um, academic study uh, in each week. I'm going to move on to say a few words about hillsart.net. Um, it's a website that is run by us as the Hills Road Art Department. Uh, we're really proud of it. Um, it's our department website where you can see our end of year exhibitions, uh, some really beautiful presentations of students work, um, not just sim single examples, but little collections of work that they show uh, across a wide range. Um, it includes all the art and design A level work and also the uh, photography A-level work, so it's a, a whole department resource. Um, and excitingly, if you're interested in joining us, 
Um, it's a place where you can hear quite a lot about the student experience. It's all very well hearing uh, a couple of teachers tell you about it, but um, there's some uh, really nice Talking Heads videos uh, of our students talking about what it's like to study here. So if you are interested, you should certainly be watching that uh, and really enjoying an opportunity to browse through um, artwork, sketchbook examples, um, and, and really fully appreciate a little bit more about what we're about uh, as an art department here at Hills Road. Student performance at Hills Road um, nationally is really strong. Uh, the art department is um, no different. Um, we have some, um, some really strong results. Students are passionate about their work uh, and work really hard um, and do achieve very strong results uh, each year. Um, and, and long may that continue. OK, so just to build upon Jonathan's um, information about the creative futures, we do obviously take our responsibility to support students to progress onto their desired destinations you know, really, really strongly. And we really enjoy working with students with that decision making and portfolio preparation. Um, uh, 18 percent of our students uh, will choose to move on to further education and that's an indicator that these students will be doing an art foundation course uh, as the year long level four course to support um, applications into higher education degrees in the visual arts. Um, nearly 80 percent of our students on the art course will progress onto higher education and within that cohort uh, many students will uh, choose to access um, BA Honours degrees, for example, in architecture, but many other students will be applying to higher education in courses from very different areas of the curriculum. That is to say, within a class, you will be sat with students that uh, very much aim to pursue art and design, but also a very healthy number of students that see art you know, uh, as part of uh, a nice, diverse A-level package uh, and find the art learning experience really contributes positively to the other two courses that may be you know from very different areas so we're really proud of their ability to access some really really strong art foundation and degree courses and students will find themselves very well supported in doing so we really really hope uh, that between Jonathan and myself that we've been able to offer you know a flavor of, of what encapsulates you know a really really strong exciting uh, and happy place uh, that is the Hills Road Art Department we're really proud of the students work we hope you will take Jonathan's uh, advice and go straight to hillsart.net simply to, to, to add to the experience we've been able to offer in this short film. Um, so, you know, we really hope to meet you in person uh, at some point in the near future. And thanks so much from me um, for listening. Indeed. And thank you very much from me too. Um, look forward perhaps to seeing you soon.